So what this is, is really, it's been meant as a hardcore video camera. This has a new feature called Gamma Display Assist. Uh, I think they call it Display Assist, but what Gamma Display Assist is, is it allows you to shoot in really flat S-log um, profiles. And what an S-log profile is, is it's increased dynamic range. I think it's 14 or 15 stops. But the images look really dull and flat. In fact, there's such little contrast that it becomes very hard to focus. So I'm going to put the camera on S-log right now. And what we're going to do that through one of the picture profiles. And where we're going to find that is under picture profile. And picture profile right now is off. Okay, so this has none of the different... Um, uh, profiles. And these profiles here are all presets. These are all PP1, PP2, 3, 4, 5. You can just play with them and see what uh, what yours is going to look like. But PP7 right now, I'll show you that this is in S-Log2. S-Log2 is extremely flat. And look how flat it is. I mean, it's actually hard to focus. So there's so much dynamic range because we don't want to blow out what is the whites and we don't want to lose all the dark uh, tones into shadows and turn them all black. So what they've done is they've taken the what they call the gamut or the width of the data, uh, the recording data, and they made it very, very wide. This camera right here does not show that entire width, and so therefore it's going to look flat. We like flat. Cinematographers like flat because later we can bump the contrast, we can bump the saturation, but in the way that we want, knowing that all of the data is here. Talking about S-Log is just like, in many ways, like the difference between uh, Adobe RGB and sRGB. Because in Adobe RGB, you've got a very, very wide gamut, and you're going to be putting it into a lot of viewing devices, which might be sRGB, which is narrow. You still get your violets, you still get your reds, but they're going to be compressed into a tighter channel. Uh, because Adobe RGB is wider, you need all of the equipment underneath that Adobe RGB to also be Adobe RGB, or you'll have desaturated colors and flat contrast, as you'll see right here. Same thing is happening with S-Log. S-Log is a very wide gamut, but we're seeing it on a monitor here that is um, non-S-Log. So watch what happens with this display assist. I'm going to go ahead and put it on uh, assist. Now this is auto. Look at how great that looks. Now that was auto and I, c I know that that was S-Log 2 so I can do the same thing here and it's going to look the same. S-Log 3, it's not correct. But now that is really pretty. And so this allows you to focus to kind of see what the color is going to look like but when it's recording it's still going to be that very flat, very flat, almost looks black and white um, S-Log. Okay, so let's look at the difference. Now this is really handy because the cinematographers have learned how to film in real flat stuff. It's almost as if like, you know what, we got it. It's all, all the information is on the recording and therefore we're going to now go back and colorize. But it's not very inspiring to be shooting with colors that look like that. Now this one is an upgrade to the A7S which we've been using for a long time for all of our video stuff because this one's main feature now is that it'll record 4K direct and that's huge. It also has 5-axis image stabilization which I'll show you how cool that is for especially for video and it also has HFR which gives you up to 4 times slow motion so we're going to show you how to do all of that stuff and it has better low light capabilities.